today with another video thank you so much for tuning in today i hope everyone is doing well i hope your day is off to an amazing start so guys let's get into what today's video is all about <clears throat> so today's video is going to be a diy i'm going to be reusing and repurposing some items i already have this vase was actually black with like gold and some other um color palettes in it sort of like a sort of like a i would say a marble type of effect and i've had this for a few years i think i got this from winners many many years ago and i ended up um painting it white but you guys know i love black and white but i love a lot of um black decor so i'm going to paint this black and I have this bowl that's like a fruit bowl for the kitchen. It was actually a clear glass bowl. I picked it up at HomeSense a few years ago. It's painted white. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this black. I actually have two of these and they're both painted white at this moment. Um, these are some glass um, vases that you can get from Dollarama in all different sizes. It's currently painted white, like I said. I'm most likely going to paint it black. Um, currently on hand, I have one foam brush. And this is going to have to work for all of these items. Because that's all I have on hand right now. I recently ordered these from Amazon. They're really, really inexpensive. They were around like $10 and something cents. So I decided to go ahead and pick up two. Um, these are folk art, home decor, chalk paint, and this is in a matte finish. Um, I sort of like to mix my black um, shades and textures. So I love the matte and I love like the sheen finish. And um, black decor come in so many different um, finishes. Some of them are in matte, some are, they have like a sheen, some have like um, a satin sort of um, texture to it. And I love that look because it gives your home more of a sort of like a traveled look, like you've collected items from different places. It's like YouTubers when they do um, collective hauls and they purchase home decor items from different stores. So sort of like um, that, but in, you know. So that is what um, I mean when I say a travel look. So that's what is that's what today's video is all about. So we're going to get started and I'm gonna start off with the vase first. And we're going to be decorating my entryway and adding some black and white decor along with some greenery. I'm sort of like changing up the way I decorate this year. Um, I'm going for more of a relaxed, sort of um, more modern, relaxed, um, cozy vibe where I have a lot of greenery. I tend to use greenery anyways because I decorate with black and white all year round if you're new to the channel. But... Um, I'm bringing it up a notch and adding lots more um, greenery to my space, um, different types of um, greenery. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I'm also waiting on my console table to come in. So I'm going to be removing the, the bookshelf unit that I have right that I have there right now. So what I'm going to do is just turn the camera around and share it with you guys. So if you are new to the channel or watching for the first time, this is the bookshelf unit that I currently have here. Um, it was okay for the time, but I don't really like it because I don't like styling so many pieces in my entryway area. I would prefer my entryway area to just have a regular console table 
where I can place a lamp for ambiance and some decorative items instead of having a piece that I have to style so many different levels. I was planning on just removing one of the shelves, as you see that I done there, and just adding something at the bottom and just styling this area and then the top area. But I went ahead and I ordered a console table from Amazon and it's coming in on Thursday. I was hoping that I would have this video ready for Wednesday because Wednesdays are usually my upload days. But I won't have a video ready for you guys on Wednesday. So you guys won't see my little um, refresh and makeover that I'm doing here. I probably won't upload until either Thursday or Friday. So make sure that you have your bell double tapped. That way you'll be notified when this video hits my channel. So yeah. So yeah, in the meantime, while we're waiting on the console table to come in, and I also ordered um, a few coffee table books. My birthday's coming up, so I'm sort of like treating myself a little. And I really needed to make over my entry anyways. I think I had mentioned to you guys that I wanna get um, a console table for that area. So I found something really inexpensive, <laughs> something inex inexpensive, budget-friendly, that goes with what I like. It's black and you guys, like I said, you'll see it. I'll unbox it and do a full decorating with you guys. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on that, we're gonna go ahead and start adding this chalk paint to these items that I have here. Um, usually when you use chalk paint, you need a a clear finish to seal it but that's usually mostly when you're using furnitures when you're um re um upcycling or repur repurposing furniture that you probably thrifted or whatever and you want to use chalk paint i don't think i need that on my home decor items i don't have a I don't have a foam plate or anything to put this in, so I'm just going to dip the foam brush into it and we're gonna start painting, but I'm gonna be putting on a gloves so I don't get a lot of chalk paint on my hand. It's easy to wash off anyways, but I just don't want it on my hands. So let's get started and see how these turn out. So guys, um, I'm going to quickly share with you how the washes turned out. I really, really love the matte black chalk paint that I purchased from Amazon. It gives it a really nice, beautiful um, look. And I love how it turned out. I love the matte. It's really, really pretty. It looks really, really nice. You guys can also add um, texture to your home decor by using um, paste or some type of um, crafting, like I said, paste or I, I can't think of any other ones at the moment. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, wherever. And it will add great texture if you want that kind of look for your um, home decor item. This is how the bowl turned out. So the one foam brush 
did a really good job painting all three of these items. I also did the inside and I've added these moss balls that I purchased a few years ago from Amazon. I'm doing a lot of greenery for January. I think you guys are gonna see a lot of greenery in my house. I don't decorate for Valentine's, so you probably won't get any Valentine's videos from me. I'm gonna go from winter straight into spring and then summer. But you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. Sort of changing up the way I decorate and adding lots of more greenery, more texture. I wanna introduce um, a little bit more, probably a little bit more white decor into my space as well home decor items because I love a lot of black decor items oh the entryway table was supposed to be here since yesterday so well, I went ahead and I, I filmed myself um, painting the vases and this bowl with the black chalk paint that I got from Amazon and I shared with you guys the bookshelf that I currently have behind my sofa, behind my sectional as an entryway table and I showed you that I removed one of the shelving because I didn't want to add so much decor because I feel like your entryway, like I said, it doesn't really need a lot of decor, it just needs a regular entryway table, a nice lamp for ambiance and as you come through the door some extra lighting in the area um, because in the house here I have pot lights and then, you know, some decorative boxes you can add. You can add books with, um, with a candle, a nice um, decorative link chain or whatever, and um, a vase with some really nice florals of your choice, whether it be greenery, um, white and green florals, or color, whatever you like. But what did come in is these two books that I ordered from Amazon. So this is um, Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines. I've had these books sitting and looking at these books for a really, really long time in my on my on on the Amazon app, and I've actually saved them. I love this book because I briefly went through it. This is what the back looks like, the front, and it has a little bit of black hair. And it says Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines. A lot of YouTubers have these. This can be used as a coffee table book, but you can also display it in your kitchen because it is a beautifully, beautifully recipe book. It has all different types of um, Joanna Gaines recipes that you can create in your kitchen. As you can see, some of the, the um, pages have pots and blenders and things like that that you can um, use. She has like a, a little breakfast introduction here that you can use. Lots of um, Jojo's biscuits that you can create for your family and yourselves. Pop strawberry jam, Bobo's classic gravy, sorry. My grandson is here, he's not at daycare today, so he's making a little noise and I think he's gonna get fussy. What's the matter? Asparagus and Fontana, I don't know how to pronounce that. Garlic cheese grits, all different types of recipes. And I love this book so much that I went ahead and I purchased another one. This is the Chanel collection, Collections and Creation. I have one of them already, but I love it so much and um, it's really hard to find books to match my decor but this one has a lot of beautiful black and white photography inside of it really really nice and this you can display on your console table coffee table you can use bookends and display your books you can use like a book stand on your coffee table as well you can even use it on your um, credenza by your dining room table. Some people like to um, decorate their credenza by their dining room table or their hutch or whatever with um, books as well. But this is a beautiful book. So I think these are going to look really nice on top for now, but I will be adding it to my 
I'll be adding this to my kitchen once I get a stand because it's a really um, thick and heavy book. So I also picked up, I love um, decorative beads, chain link beads, chain link decor that you can add to your coffee table. So I picked this up because you can wrap this around like a vase and you can style it in a vignette with a vase and some florals, a candle and some books. And you can also, you know, use it as a tie back for your curtains as well. So I'm going to be using that. I also got six of these from Amazon. They are eucalyptus. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna be using a lot of greenery. And these, these six really make a nice full arrangement. And what I love with these ones, you can open them out because the, um, the stem on this is really, really um, bendable. And it allows you to open it up and create a really nice full look for your flower arrangement you can use a few of these and mix it with like colored florals in my case i would probably mix it with some white flowers but seeing that valentine's day is coming up this is six you can use like three of them and mix it with pink red whatever colors that you like using for valentine's I'm going to be using these two to decorate the bookshelf as well. So I wanted to share another item that I also got. My birthday's coming up in a few weeks, guys. So for the month of February, I'm just treating myself to a few things. I'm, uh, I'm sort of like a Valentine baby. I was born the day before Valentine. I may possibly do a giveaway for my birthday, a gift card or something like that. But I most likely likely will do it to my Canadian residents. Or maybe I'll choose one Canadian subscriber who comments who is also subscribed who follows me on my instagram which i will leave my instagram handle on the screen and i'll also leave my um, tiktok handle on the screen i am trying to grow my social media so you guys got to make sure that you follow me on my social media handles so this is a air fryer I purchased, as you can see. Oh, those coffee table books came packaged really nicely. There's no damage. This is what comes in the little um, little bag with the cookbook, warranty card. Thank you for choosing our product. We provide 18 months of quality warranty and lifetime after. And then it just comes with a booklet concerning the air fryer and I guess how to use it but all you have to do is just press this button right there and everything shows up right there so you have all the different types of um, stuff that you can add to this right here your poultry and all that stuff and then this is the recipe book it has 32 different dishes inside First page has all of your contacts and it has all of the yummy dishes that you can prepare. Air fried whole chicken, sonata, 
Maria ribeye fried chicken. You can make grilled cheese in here. Barbecue bacon, chicken, tikka drumsticks, garlic lemon chicken. I'm actually going to be making some drumsticks, but the reason I bought this is I want to start doing like cooking videos and sharing with you guys. I'm also um, getting a really nice new pot set because it's time for me to update my pots. I've had them for a few years. I want to start doing cook cooking videos and not just so much decor, decor, decor because my, my thing for 2023 and moving forward is not to spend so much money on decor and decorating every minute. I really like how my space looks at the moment, so I don't want to invest in too many home decor pieces because then you have to end up decluttering and donating or um, selling things. And I don't have, I have the space, but this is not something that I want to do. I don't want to have my garage or my basement or wherever stored with so many decor pieces. And then you have honey sriracha wings, magnolia chicken wings, fi fried mozzarella bitters, bites. I don't eat pork, so you have Cajun style shrimp. A lot of good recipes in here, guys. You can do um, your, your skewers, yogurt chicken skewers, onion rings. I haven't had onion rings since I was like a teenager. Homemade french fries, all different types of um, crispy tofu. Yeah, anyways, guys, this is what it looks like. And um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this by going through the um, booklet and the instructions on how to um, use the timer and all of the different things on it, but I love it. It is really, really humongous. I think it's like an eight by something or whatever, but I'll link it in the description box down below if you guys are interested okay, in it. I've already cleaned the bookshelf with um, some pledge that I got from the Alabama and a microfiber cloth. And I think I had mentioned to you guys in the earlier clips move, move card, that I removed one of the shelves so I don't have to add so much decor there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start styling it with the things that I have. And then once, once my um, entryway table comes in, I'll come back and share that with you guys and do like a little update. So I really wanted to do like this refresh and makeover, but Amazon has let me down and they haven't delivered my entryway table. It's supposed to be coming in today. So hopefully before I upload this video and it's here, I'll go ahead and unbox it and share it with you guys and make over and refresh the entry but if it doesn't come in in time by the time i'm ready to upload this video today um this video should have been up since wednesday but um it's going to be going up on friday wednesdays is usually my upload days and i'm also going to start uploading videos on fridays and maybe another day during the week i'm not really sure but wednesdays and fridays and maybe monday so I'm gonna go ahead and style it using the things that I have, and then um, you guys will see how it turned out. So let's get started. this from Amazon it is a pro yearn candle wick trimmer pack I think this was like $19.99 and I 
I got it in a black. I think I'm going to add this one. Sorry, this one. And you can add this on your coffee table and this one. Maybe I'll just add all three of them. You can style it on your coffee table by putting it in a nice, um, like, double sort of um, dish, a flat one. Or you can just place it nicely on your coffee table box as well. This is how the entryway turned out and my grandson is finally sleeping. I don't have to play music over his YouTube videos so I don't get copyright. Yeah, he fell asleep so um, this is how the entryway turned out. I really, really love it. I sort of wanted to um, compliment all of the other areas like the kitchen island, the dining room area, the living room, and the bookshelf that's under my TV. I've styled it in a lot of black and white so I wanted to mimic and bring all of that those color palette into this area and um, my table is not here yet so um, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video and share it with you guys and then once the table comes in I will um, come back and share it with you but yeah this is how everything turned out I really really love it um, candle lighting for a little bit of ambiance um, a really nice aroma as you walk into the space and I've just added this box, the two vases I got from winners earlier, um, a few months ago in 2022. This came from Amazon, like I said. These I've had for a few years. I got them from Amazon. This is just a decorative box. I didn't add anything there because my once my table comes in, you won't see some of the decor. You probably won't see these, but you'll definitely probably see this. And um, this is how the Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines looks and the new Chanel book. This is the second one that I've purchased from Amazon. And I borrowed this from the Kitchen Island and added it there because, like I said, I wanted to bring in the black and white into the area. And seeing that I have a lot of white at the bottom, I just wanted to bring in a little bit more white up here. Even though the table, the coffee table books have white in it, I wanted to add a little bit more white. This is how my vase turned out with my eucalyptus stems really really pretty and like i said these you can bend them to give your flower arrangement a much fuller look so yeah and um this is e this is a matching lamp with the other one over on the opposite side i got from winners a few years ago i think they were like 49.99 the candle is from Winners. This is from Amazon. Um, I think I'm gonna share a video with you guys showing you all of my favorite Am Amazon finds. I've never done videos like that, so I think I'm gonna start sharing some of my favorite decorative pieces, whether it be from H&M, from Amazon, or wherever I get them from. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you a little inspiration for your own entryway decorating. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful and blessed day. It is freezing cold here. There's so much snow. And um, I think I'm going to change out this light bulb for something warmer. To give the, um, the space a much more cozier vibe. Something that looks like what the candlelight looks like. A nice warmer. And then keep these daylight bulbs for more like in the summertime. 
But yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe, double tap your bell. That way you'll get notified and you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks for tuning in today. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.